Today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create campaigns and what campaigns are in the HubSpot tool. So essentially, campaigns and HubSpot are a way to better categorize a whole bunch of marketing assets. So for example, you run a marketing campaign around a certain topic, a certain you know push that you're doing for a program or some sort of event coming up. You'll want to associate specific blog posts, social posts, calls to actions, emails, landing pages, website pages, even workflows with that specific campaign. So this campaign at the end of the day is a great way to come back and look how did this campaign work holistically? How did all of these moving parts work together to produce the end result that you were looking for to exceed it or maybe you missed the mark? So in the HubSpot platform, you want to go to the master navigation at the top of the screen, go to marketing, planning and strategy, campaigns. This will bring you to a list of all of the campaigns that you have in HubSpot. To create a new campaign, you want to go to the top right, which is Create Campaign. You're going to want to name the campaign something specific, and you want to note that once you name the campaign, you cannot change the name later. If you want to know why, you can click this little link here. But to give you the short synopsis, essentially because the name of the campaign is used in a lot of the URLs that are tracking how many people are coming to that specific page from that campaign, the URL cannot change. So you can't change the name of the campaign because that campaign name is used in the URL, which is associating all of these visitors and sessions and conversions to this specific campaign. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna name this test campaign. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna name this my test campaign press enter. So now you get to see at the top, my test campaign created here by me. You get to see some overarching metrics like sessions, new contacts, influence contacts, which basically just means they came into contact with some sort of asset from this campaign. How many deals were closed if you were using the sales tool and how much revenue was influenced. Again, if you close the deal and that deal was influenced by an asset from this campaign, that's influenced revenue. Um, right now, we don't have anything associated with campaigns, a fresh new campaign. So if you wanted to add existing content, existing assets like blog posts, social posts, calls to actions, emails, go to the top right, do add assets, and you would search around for whatever asset that you want. So if it's a CTA, you're going to want to search for that CTA. If it's an email, you're going to want to search for that email. Um, it's for specifically with emails, you're going to want to make sure that it's an automated one and not an email that's already been sent because campaigns aren't going to pull in that retroactive data. Um, once all of these assets are assigned, uh, you're going to see something like this. So we have this very basic campaign of an overfly launch. We got six sessions from it. We influenced 489 contacts over time. These are how many contacts were influenced. And these are how many contacts they first touched. So we see that you know 334 contacts were somehow influenced, meaning they saw something that was associated with this campaign on April 22nd. We have two blog posts associated with it. It's these two blog posts. We have four calls to actions associated with this campaign. 37 emails with this campaign, six website pages with this campaign. So this is basically just a way for you to get a better idea of how that campaign did at the end of the day.